Welcome back everyone. So in this session we are going to look upon angle subtended by a chord. Now uh, see this is a circle and let us say this is a center and let us say this is a chord A B. This is a chord A B. Now what is happening right over here that it is subtending a angle at the center O. right? So this is what uh, is the angle subtended by a chord is right. Now there are two theorems regarding to this angle subtended by a chord and let us have a look at those theorem firstly. Theorem number 1 says equal chords subtends equal angle at center, equal chord subtends equal angle at center. Now let us have a look, let us quickly have a look at the proof of this one. So uh, what this theorem is trying to say that AB and let us say, let us uh, assume that one, let us draw one more chord over here CD. Now if I join these two, right. and over here I am assuming let AB is equals to CD right? or rather it is given to me. This is what? Uh, this is given to me. Why? Because it is written right? equal chords subtends equal angle. So it is given to me that AB is equals to CD and to prove what? we have to prove that this angle right over here that is angle AOB is equals to angle COD. Angle AOB is equals to angle COD. Now let us try to prove this. As you can see if I look upon triangle ABO and triangle CDO, ABO and CDO as you can see AB will be equals to CD and OA will be equals to OD and OC will be equals to OB because why these, these two are nothing but radius. right? And if these three sides are equal to each other, so by SSS, by SSS congruency, what I can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CD, sorry ABO, ABO is congruent to triangle CDO and that directly means that angle AOB will be equal to angle COD. I hope it makes sense to you. So that was the proof of this theorem. That is the angle, if two chords are same, then these angles, if this is theta, then this would also be theta. I hope it makes sense to you. So next theorem, what we have is absolutely the converse of the theorem number 1, what we studied. So next theorem, what it says that if angle subtended by, if angle subtended by chords are equal, then chord will be equal in length. That is, if I refer the given figure, what it is trying to say that if this is what given to me, if angle AOB is equals to angle COD, then what we have to, to prove AB is equals to CD. This is what we have to 
proof now as you can see this is pretty much easy i am sure many of you are able to guess it how we can prove the r what we have to prove ab is equals to cd so let us start by triangle abo and triangle cdo only so in triangle abo and cdo as you can see angle aob is equals to angle cod this is what given to me and oa will be equals to od and ob will be equals to oc and this is what nothing but radius and if these are if these are satisfying then side angle side as per sas what i can say that triangle abo is congruent to triangle cdo and if it is true then what i can say that ab will be equals to cd so that was the proof of given theorem and i hope it makes complete sense to you and that was all about the uh, theorems of angle subtended by a chord let's try some questions based on that thank you so much